Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Cherry Studios. Today I'm going to be looking at the G-Bros adapter from 8-Bit though and checking if it works well with the Dolphin GameCube slash Wii emulator to play GameCube games because I usually play with the Xbox One controller but I bought this a while back to play Super Smash Brothers on the Switch with the official GameCube controllers that I bought way back in like 2002 and I couldn't really get it working with my Nintendo Switch. I tried a few firmware updates and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it is not working with my Nintendo Switch. But I also noticed that it had a Windows mode on here. If you switch the S to the X, then it will come into like a Windows mode using X input, which is what Dolphin uses. It also comes with this little purple USB cable. So I thought, what if I plug this into this? and this into the computer, would I be able to use my official GameCube controllers from 2002 to play GameCube games on my computer? That would be perfect, wouldn't it? The only problem I can think of is that the analog triggers on the back do not work as intended when you press down a little bit, like the incrementations, because when I use the Hori Battle Pad, they only have digital triggers, and the Nintendo Switch itself does not have this feature. Seeing as all the G-Bros adapter was made for the Nintendo Switch, I'm not sure that it's going to register that way, but we're going to plug it in and check it out. So sit back, get your knickers out of a twist, and let's just dive straight into it. <laughs> So the controller I'm going to be using is my trusty black Nintendo GameCube controller from way back when. I'm going to plug that in now into the G-Bros adapter. Like I said, I couldn't get this working with my Nintendo Switch. I would love for somebody to be able to troubleshoot that. So it's plugged in and I'm just going to plug it into my computer and we'll see what happens. We are plugged in and ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to check is I'm going to go to device manager and see if it has shown up at the bottom. It's not in sound and video game control. Oh, there is Xbox 360 peripherals. Maybe it is that. The Xbox is registering as an Xbox 360 controller. That is warming, comforting. That is comforting to know. Um, Maybe the analog triggers will work. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually check to see if there's any drivers on the 8BitDo website by going to 8BitDo.com and clicking support in the top right corner as I just did there. Finding the adapter, as you can see, they do a lot of retro controllers and a lot of adapters for different devices for PlayStation. You can play it with a PlayStation 4. You can play it with an Xbox One, the SNES, they even have a SNES receiver, a NES receiver, and a NES Classic receiver. So you can play with all their controllers on these different devices. But the one we have is the G-Bros one. There is no drivers, but there is a new firmware, firmware version 2.24. So you're going to want to download that and save the file. Now, I think I already did this one when I was trying to troubleshoot it not working with my Nintendo Switch. Once you go to your downloads folders, you can extract it all here by clicking extract all or using 7-zip, which is what I prefer to use. And extract it to its own folder. Then use this application to update the GBROS. Yes. So to do this, you're going to need to unplug it from the computer and you're going to need some batteries in it, I'm afraid, to get it up and running. So you press the home button and the pair button, which is the yellow button here and the red button there, which is the home button, to pair it. You hold it until apparently it blinks red, but mine doesn't blink red. It in fact blinks green. So either they're lying or mine's wrong. Then once it's blinking, you need to plug it back in via USB again. Then the USB update button will appear here like it has. Click that, and then you click the firmware adapter in the GBROS adapter firmware folder, the dot dat file. Double click that. New firmware 2.24 and current is 2.24. So yes, I did already update the firmware, but I'll do it again just so I can show you how it's done. Wait for that to finish. And that is upgraded and ready to rock and roll. Now you don't need the batteries in. 
close this because it didn't install correctly. It's just because no app was installed on the actual computer. So there we close everything and then we can launch Dolphin. Now hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> this is going to work. I've took the batteries out. It's plugged in only, it's plugged in and powered only by the USB. Click controllers, configure standard controller and it's set up with my Xbox One controller the way I would normally set it up. And it's on X input zero gamepad. And let's see, oh, the analog stick is moving. As you can see, in the middle of the screen, the red dots are moving. The yellow hexagon type thing, is it a hexagon? How many sides is it? One, two, three, it's an octagon, I believe. The C stick is working fine. A, B, X, Y. Oh, beautiful. Now here is the moment of truth on the triggers. And oh, it revs, it works. I'm slightly pushing down on the analog stick and it is only slightly, oh, 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 slightly. It's slightly moving, hold it down full it. This is going to revolutionize the way I play GameCube games on my computer. This is gonna completely change the Dolphin emulator for me for a much more authentic experience. I am chuffed. I am. I need a Blue Peter badge right now because I am over the moon with that. Let's give it a quick sneaky test with Super Mario Sunshine. This is the game, remember, that I said would probably cause the most problems because the analog sticks are vital to playing the game. And there we go. It is working. Fantastic C-Stick. Let's go in. Move the camera up and around. Oh, jump. And ground pound. Now the, the moment of truth. If I hold the right analog stick down just slightly, I can still run and spray at the same time. And then hold it down fully. And Mario is able to aim his cannon, aim his squirt. This is great. Every button works like a charm. I am well and truly chuffed. This is going to change everything. I am happy as a pig in shit. That is how happy I am right now. Beautiful. I, for one, cannot be happier. So there you have it, the G-Bros adapter from 8-Bit Doe is perfect for playing GameCube games on Dolphin. It emulates a 360 controller, which is perfect for playing GameCube games on Dolphin. It does it so well that it's going to revolutionize my experience playing these games on my computer. So if you want to pick one of these up, you can find them on Amazon for around 15 quid. I will put an affiliate link at the bottom. If you do buy it using that link, I do get a little bit of money. I would highly recommend this for using with Dolphin, but what I cannot recommend with right now is using this with the Nintendo Switch because I haven't yet managed to get it working. I don't seem to figure out what the problem is. I've tried all the troubleshooting, all the FAQs. So if anybody has any tips or any ideas what I am doing wrong, please let me know because I've been dying to use this to play Super Smash Brothers and I've been dying to use this on other games on the Nintendo Switch. If you can help me out, then I can probably make a video and help you out. Help me help you, help me help you. And that's all I've got time for today. If you've liked this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do.